The electric power grid is becoming more complex. There's deeper integration between the distribution side and the transmission side. The other thing that's happening is that there's more services taking place on the grid edge. Consumers are buying electric vehicles, putting batteries in their homes, installing solar panels. With these integrated systems, both at the edge and the integration between distribution and transmission systems, the understanding of how the system behaves becomes very complex. Now the national laboratories are well positioned to try to better understand these complex interactions. Well the national labs are really in a unique position to help industry bring these grid edge technologies to market. First, we can provide advanced capabilities for them to evaluate these technologies in a bigger systems context. We also have a large amount of technical expertise that can be drawn on to understand how these technologies will interact together. By doing these evaluations in a research setting, we're able to eliminate a lot of the bugs that you would normally see in field deployments and then make a more successful rollout of these products to the commercial world. So the real challenge here is how do you design a net zero energy district so that everybody wins? The developer, the utility, and the community at large. So the visualization really brings this to life for the different stakeholders. It's one thing to sit in a room and look at a blueprint of a feeder topology and say, okay, we're gonna put some solar here. What this allows us to do is show the utility and show the developers the impact that it's going to have on the system and easily make changes and then show how those changes translate through the system. So for example, if you put more solar PV panels here, what does that do to your net zero energy impact? But then also, what does that do to the power system in that location as well? It's been a really, really good experience for us. I think every time we get to interact with the national labs, I feel a little bit smarter after I get off the phone with them. In a short period of time, they have allowed us to make significant advancements. I think the interaction has been very positive, and I think that comes from having a, a common goal between the two groups and know that we're working towards the betterment of an area and the technology that we believe in.